have a pretty quick photo shoot happening at 11 o'clock and it's currently 11 5 so i'm running a bit late luckily the studio is pretty close i feel uh, right now about my makeup it's not looking how i want it to look i was trying to do my base makeup but for some reason my foundation did not want to stick to my skin i'm not gonna do any like close-ups of my face so i think i should be okay we're here just setting up the background going for a beach afternoon reflective kind yeah. of like dreamy vibe so he laid this out so this is gonna be really cool Going through all the pics. Fantastic, lovely, great, <laughs> amazing, incredible. The lighting is so perfect. It really gave off the uh, sunset beach vibes. Like this reflection thing, it just looks so yeah. cool. All in it, that was a successful shoot. He is so good with lighting. I'm so excited for the end results. I wonder how he's gonna edit them. He edits photos really good. He does it all, guys. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Normally, I don't ever really wear makeup to the gym. Well, sometimes I do. I guess maybe like a little concealer, brows and mascara. I am putting on full makeup. Well, not necessarily full makeup. Kinda, I guess. It's like a lightweight foundation, but it's gonna give the illusion of more of like a full coverage look. I don't even know. I've been testing this out from Rem Beauty. And it's their under eye cooling gel thing. It's such a really interesting texture. I don't even know how to describe it, but it feels, it does feel really nice under the eyes. I like it because it just fills all the under eye wrinkles that I have going on currently. I finally got my hands on the e.l.f. Cosmetics Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I'm in the shade medium. Well, at least I think I am. This is shade four. This is literally my first time trying this out. I was scared it was gonna be a little too dark, but it's actually blending out pretty nicely. It's not so bad. It does give me that really healthy glow underneath. I really wanna share this with you guys. It's the Patrick Ta Cream Foundation and Finishing Powder. By the time that I post this video, it probably just launched, but I got to work with them, which is really cool and I got to test out their new foundation and it's it's so so good. I'm using the shade light medium too so you have your cream foundation and your translucent powders. I'm really obsessed with this foundation because it really does just look like skin and it's meant to be more of a light to medium coverage kind of foundation but it still gives me that coverage that I'm looking for on the no makeup makeup days. So cream contouring with Fenty Beauty matchsticks. This is in the shade Mocha. I like to put it kind of high because I like my cheekbones to look like they're higher. Funny enough, when these first came out, I did not really like them, but I don't know if they changed the formula, but I had recently got sent the new matchsticks and I don't know, I really, really like it. I've gone to the gym a few times with like a full face of makeup because that's like, Normally after when I've like already filmed a bunch Yeah, of like I filmed a bunch of videos and I had makeup on and I didn't feel like taking it off. A lot of people don't prefer wearing makeup just because you sweat a lot and you want your like pores to be open and whatnot. And makeup pretty much blocks that. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm working out right, but I don't really sweat a lot. I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. Normally, I would just go in with the translucent powder and just set my T-zone, but I want this makeup to last a bit more longer than that. So I'm going in with the Makeup Forever foundation powder. This really 
sets in my makeup and this shit will not budge. Foundation never stays on my nose so I always put the least amount around my nose area and my forehead. My nose area because foundation moves around a lot. Forehead is because I feel like I don't really need it. My trick to getting a more even coverage around the nose is to use the powder foundation. Going over the bronzer with some contouring powder, just lightly. I just feel like this is gonna emphasize it just a little bit more. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some more work after the gym and I don't feel like doing all of this afterwards. My current favorite blush I absolutely love M Cosmetics blushes. I feel like I have almost all of them, but this one has been my current favorite, the Heaven's Glow Radiant Veil Blush in Persimmon. And at first, I thought it was a little too, too orangey, but once I apply it to my skin, I just feel like it's a perfect color that blends in with my bronzer. Last but not least, some highlight, the Laura Mercier Matte Radiant Space Highlight. I finally, I don't know if you can even tell, but I finally made a dent. I feel like this highlight is a little bit pricey, but yo, this shit has been lasting me so long. I don't even care if it says it's expired. <laughs> so this is my makeup for the day. A bit extra for the gym, but whatever. my hair in like two days so it's getting a little bit oily. This is a hairstyle I like to do when it gets to that point where I still want my hair down but the gym was good. Makeup still good. This is how I get my hair to have that kind of like textured beachy wavy undone done kind of hair. Using the Kristen S hair curler. I believe this is just like one inch. I grab some hair and I roll like halfway and then pull it down like that and then just kind of do the same thing on the bottom if it just kind of gets loose and it kind of gets this slightly tight looking curl but it's very very loose and I don't run my fingers through it just yet because in order for it to stay longer I just kind of leave it in that position. I also do it inwards as well. Like I like to rotate what position I'm I don't even hold it in my hair for that long. So like this, kind of like halfway through, roll it, bring it under, two more, bring it under. Okay, so this is what you kind of get afterwards. Now I'm taking some Paul Mitchell Flexing Style Sculpting Foam and I'm just going to loosen up the curls or the waves, I guess. And I like to like flip my hair, I should probably be out of the way over here, but I'm gonna go like this. Okay, it looks a little wet right now just because of the mousse, but it dries up very nicely and it feels really soft. But this is how I do my hair very quickly to get that undone, effortless, beachy kind of waves. But yeah. I got some really cute pieces from Revolve. So I want to do a quick try on haul. The stuff that I picked up from Revolve, a lot of it are just tops because I feel like I can dress it up with pants or jeans because I have a lot of those already. I also mainly got things from Super Down and All The Ways, I believe that's what it's called, or All The Things, something like that. But those two brands in particular that I've noticed from Revolve are definitely more on the affordable end, in my opinion, where things are like less than $50 or so. This is the first stuff I got. Bobby likes to poke fun at this because he says this is just a napkin. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> But it's more of like a stylish napkin. I honestly really love it. I feel like this is something 
Hailey Bieber would wear. I feel like it has this elegance to it, but then you like turn around in the back. And it's like very seductive. I love this print. I think it's like banana leaves or something like that, but I love the flowy sleeves. I feel like this could probably be tied a little bit better. It's just kind of hard to put on, so I probably need some help with this, but it's pretty cute. I just feel like I love the look of shoulder pads and I'm always attempting to make it work on me. Sometimes I love them and sometimes I hate it. Maybe I just need to, need to be more confident. I really love the color because I feel like you can wear this in the summer or the fall. Um, yeah, this is what the back looks like. So this is a more casual-ish top. I believe it's from the brand all the ways. On the site, the girl actually has it open like this, but I don't know if it's gonna be like too much. But it doesn't, I feel like it might look better this way. Use some like fashion tape and this will stick just fine. I'm wearing no bra, I do have these nipple covers on. One of my favorite nipple covers to use because they just kind of go around most of your boob. <laughs> Link the nipple covers down below for anyone who's interested but they stick on really well even on a hot ass day when you're sweating they stay on this one is from super down and it's kind of definitely like if you make the wrong move even just a little bit your shit's gonna come out pretty sure some fashion tape will be fine the back is backless tied like this i actually really like this material it's really soft and stretchy and i thought it might be see-through but it's not so this is probably one of my favorite pieces that I picked out. It's actually two pieces. Not gonna lie, I already wore this out. I went to the zoo with Javi. It was such a cute day. I felt so pretty in it. Javi is gonna love this set. I know this one's gonna be his favorite. Oh man, I just love this color. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it looks so good on my skin tone. The material is really nice and stretchy. It feels pretty breathable. I just feel so pretty in this. So that is everything that I got from Revol. If you like any of the pieces and when I check it out, I'm gonna link everything down below. Okay, I don't know if anyone noticed in this video, but there's a little bit something different about me. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, then you know what I'm talking about. But I had recently gotten some chin filler. So I've gotten it done about a week ago and I personally, ugh, I hate that I love it so much. <laughs> I've thought about doing this for a really, really long time. There's a few things about my face, I guess, that I've always wanted to do, but I talked myself out of doing a lot of things. Me personally, if there's something about myself that I physically want to change, I'm going to try to do it as naturally as possible. For example, these are the things I wanted to get done to my face, which was like um, cheekbone filler, jawline filler, um, buckle fat removal and chin filler. Obviously the beauty standard always changes and I feel like what's in trend currently are like very slim sculpted chiseled faces. Obviously I don't have that facial structure naturally. Eventually I've learned to contour my face where I feel like I can make my cheekbones look more structured like higher and whatnot. There was a moment in my life when I was like gaining a good amount of weight when I was on birth control and I pretty much lost my jawline and that was when I wanted jaw filler to kind of make it more structured but so I started working out and I didn't start working out because I wanted to lose weight it was definitely more trying to be more healthy and gain more energy but when I did start working out my face was starting to slim so, and that's when I realized that I was able to lose weight in my face and then the next thing I wanted to get was buckle fat removal which is like removing the fat pads inside your cheeks and this one it took a little while because i have always grown to have more of a fuller face i felt like that just made me look like a child i've grown to accept it because when i've researched a lot about buckle fat removal though not a lot of people have really confirmed it but they say that when you remove the fat in your face your face gets sunken in which gives you a more older look which is like really model-esque and whatnot but the more i thought about it the more i wouldn't want that as I get older because I feel when you have fuller cheeks that's what gives you more of a youthful look so that's how I was able to talk myself out of buckle fat removal and then the last thing I wanted to change about my face was my chin 
Now, my chin was something I could not shake off. It was not something I necessarily needed. This was something I wanted. So I decided to go for it and get it done. I'll show you a few clips of the process. It was fairly very easy. So this is my chin filler experience. I went to Nurse Stephanie. I'm going to link her page down below if anyone is interested. She's amazing, so sweet, so patient. She's also very informative. Any questions that I had, she had an answer to. She made me feel very comfortable. I definitely recommend going to her if you live in Rhode Island or even Mass. So the first thing I did was go in for a consultation. We talked about what I wanted, which was to elongate my side profile. With All right, so let's see. So I'm going to have you just look straight ahead. Okay. So I think, and I don't know, you know, if exactly what you're looking for, but if you're looking to give more of a sharper jawline, yeah. you have a great jawline already here. Yeah. So I think just adding the chin will be perfect because when we look at the angle here, mm -hmm. The chin is supposed to come out in, you know, they call it the golden ratio yeah. of facial symmetry and balancing, which nobody has this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but the goal is kind of what they teach us, you know, mm -hmm. in aesthetics is to have that balance. So the chin is supposed to come out just a little bit further. So say if you had a pencil kind of coming down, mm -hmm. it would kind of hit that pencil and not be in line with yeah. the rest of the face. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what we call call it facial balancing so yeah i would say i would only do one syringe okay. sometimes we do multiple but i would start with one syringe just to give you just a little bit that's all you need mm -hmm. just to kind of come out like that give you a nice little angle and then from the front okay. the front it depends it depends if you're going for more of a v or if you're happy with the angle that you have because if you want more of a v that would require more to kind of come down this way. But to be honest, I think it would look nice. With just? Just to put that one, just to bring it out here. Okay. But basically, I think if the chin just came out just a little bit, like just right there, the yeah. angle would be perfect from the side. Okay. And do you think that would just give me a slight kind of V-ish look, but not like super strong? Because I feel like I still want it to be natural, but I think it's more the side profile that I'm like looking for. Yeah. So when yeah. it comes to the side profile, I like to inject kind of here on this angle to give you that projection. Yeah. Um, if we're doing more of a V, we kind of come down like this. Mm -hmm. um, but we could try to do both. Okay. Like kind of combine the two. But I definitely want to give you more projection this way. Yeah. To give you that nice angle because it would just tie in really nice with your okay. natural jawline. Next appointment was when we did the procedure and it was very simple and a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be. Um, she put some numbing cream on my chin for about like 10 minutes and we only used one syringe, but she told me that most people on average do tend to go for two. I just wanted enough. So I didn't want a super drastic change where I got used to and felt the need to keep going back and getting it done. Um, I just really wanted to see how it looked like and how I'd feel. Next appointment was when we did the procedure and it was very simple. We did it in four separate syringes where the needles are like really, really thin so that I would be more comfortable. I did feel this tight pinching feeling. It did feel really odd. When she inserted the needle, I heard this kind of like <laughs> I was just thinking like, what the heck is that noise? When I asked, she said, it's the needle touching the bone. I feel like the sound itself made me more uncomfortable than the needle being injected. How does it feel like afterwards? Is it like squishy? No, so it's gonna actually draw in water over the next two to three weeks mm -hmm. and it will feel exactly like your normal yeah. face. Okay. Um, if you were to do a lot, I would say more than one syringe, you probably would feel almost like a little bogginess. And I feel like that's when you know it's too much because we still want it to look and feel like a real chin. Right now, that's really the main thing that you're going to feel is just that hardness, mm -hmm. firmness, and fullness. And then tomorrow morning, it just might be a little sore just mm -hmm. when you eat. So the good news about anything on the bone, so the chin, jawline, cheeks, they don't migrate. Anything in the softer tissue, like the lip, that's where migration happens. So. Yeah. 
the risk of migration in China is very, very low because it sits right on the bone. How long is this supposed to like? This will last, last you a year. A year? Mm -hmm. I would say once a year. Mm -hmm. Just and so what? It just like dissolves. Your body will just break it down over that year's time. Oh, oh, I see it. <laughs> I see it at that turn. See, that's when you can see it, which is the awesome. Part. I wanted to get Harvey's reaction. I don't know why I feel nervous. <laughs> I love a little bit. Sit, sit, sit. I got mad poofy hair right now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it's honestly like barely Minor. noticeable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not even that crazy though. Right. It's pretty good. How's nervous. it look on the side? I know, he was really nervous. Oh, I'm about to look at the other picture. <laughs> oh, wait, I did like... see the results right away. It was a little bit swollen. So I was like waiting to see after a few days how it would kind of like settle in. And I felt like it settled in very nicely. The first um, couple of days, it did feel a little bit sore. The swelling definitely went away after the first day. Um, I had the tiniest bit of bruising and she told me she didn't think I was going to bruise that much just because like not a lot of blood was like coming out. I wanted my chin to come out a little bit more, especially my profile. I didn't necessarily want it to change how it looked in the front, but I did notice that my chin is a little less flat, square, I guess you can say. And now it's a little bit more pointed, which is cool. I don't mind that. I don't think it's a super huge change, but I also feel like it is for me because I look at myself all the time so I can see the difference myself. But overall, my experience was like a 10 out of 10. I love how it came out. This is exactly what I was looking for. If anyone has any questions about this, you can go ahead and comment that down below and I'll try my best to answer it as best as possible. So far, no regrets. The experience was fairly very easy not really that painful it's just a bit sore supposedly this is only supposed to last a year i'm not really sure if i'll get them redone i want to see how long it actually really does last because some people say it could last more than a year i'm just gonna wait till then to see how i feel about it but yeah i just wanted to share that i try my best to be very straightforward because i can understand what it feels like to get insecure and compare yourself to other people online and wanting to do all these changes to yourself and I'm a believer of like, you look good, you feel good. If there's things you want to change about, your, about yourself, go for it. Just make sure to do your research and make sure it's like the right choice for you. Definitely take your time to think about it. I'm telling you, like all these things I wanted to do my face, it was like for years, I've just contemplated about it. I've grown to like change my mind and accept things about myself um, that I didn't think I would be able to. Um, and then there's some things where I'm just like, you know what i still want it and i want to try it but i'm gonna end this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it follow me if you want to see more videos follow me or like subscribe to me subscribe to me damn i haven't made anything for youtube in a while <laughs> follow me on instagram i feel like instagram is where it's more up to date on the things i'm up to yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all next time bye <laughs> yeah this gonna make your hips look Nice. I already know. I already know this fabric. <laughs> that fabric. Damn. What is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, oh, I see this now. It's like this. Damn. This is this is top and bottom. This is nice. What's this? <laughs> this is a this is a napkin. <laughs> Wait, a napkin? Where's the top?